NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. We're taking a live look from our camera in Burlington, 37 degrees, definitely cloudy out there. Needed the winter jacket today, but you know what I did hmm. before work? I bought some flowers. We're going to be gardening this weekend. Nice. <laughs> Optimistic. Yes. The forecast will cooperate. I know. Yeah. That's okay, why I good. did that. It almost <laughs> sounded like you're, you're just brushing off the cold and saying, hey, Mother Nature, watch out. Well, I sort of am. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll be back to, <laughs> to good shape tomorrow. Andrew took the weather lab to Plattsburgh today. The eighth graders there at Stafford Middle School. Pretty cool uh, group there. And, uh, gee, just crisscrossing the region here. Seems like every day. So thanks to uh, Stafford Middle School for having us there today. Now we've got the sunshine coming out across a lot of the region, mostly northern New York, into a little bit of the Champlain Valley. You can kind of see the back edge of the clouds coming on south here. We'll kind of get the edge here. Almost looks like it's right in Milton right now. So if you look north, it's brighter. You look south, it's a little bit more of a cloudy sky. And then we've got these cool ripple clouds here from central Vermont down towards the upper valley, Grafton County. In fact, uh, can show you the upper valley here as we get down towards Lebanon. Mascoma Lake showing up on the map there near Enfield. And you go west west towards Hartford crossing the Connecticut River. Yeah, it's still a gray sky for a little while longer. But how about southern Vermont already lucking out with sunshine as the showers go south? So that's the situation on Storm Tracker. Temperatures are down there. We've got a 35 in Saranac Lake, but look at the beautiful, beautiful blue sky over town right now. So that is a sign of things to come for sure. Not quite seeing that in Rutland. I don't think it's 40. Yeah, this is the northeastern view. Camera shaking a little bit there in the wind because the gusts are still 20, 25 miles per hour. I think the wind settles down a little bit tonight. Still blowing a, a little puff out of the north tomorrow morning. So even though it's cold and we've got a hard freeze in the plan, it could be a lot colder if we had no wind. I think there'll be a little wind tomorrow morning. And then the sun just sticks around all day. It's a sunburn kind of day for sure because the UV index is high this time of year whenever the sun is out. And even though it's only about 50 degrees, it's easy to forget that. So just a quick little reminder. On Friday, the sun is still out and uh, the wind is pretty light too. Temperatures up near 60. And that's the first day of Maple Fest, so it's going to be an amazing time to be outside on Friday. Even Saturday morning, look at this, no clouds. It's really not till later on Saturday that things start to cloud up. So cold tonight, a rock solid freeze everywhere, teens and 20s. And for tomorrow, we've got 40s to about 50 degrees in the Champlain Valley, but it is full sun, 50 in Burlington, down the road in Brattleboro, 56. So here's the extended forecast with the perfect sunshine as we go into the next two days, probably even the first half of Saturday. Now we do have 70s painted in there for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday between 70 and 75. There's a couple of weather fronts uh, flirting with the region and an area of low pressure. So it really just depends on sunshine and where the shower set up. Probably some thunderstorms in the mix too. Uh, but the point is if we manage like six hours of sunshine on Monday or Tuesday, we could pop an 80. It's not the forecast right now, but it is, it is the potential that we're watching for early next week.